Three Doors Down, the American rock band from Mississippi that took over the charts in the late 90s and early 2000s with massive hits like When I'm Gone, Here Without You, and their first single, Kryptonite. The band was a hard rock radio staple during those years and you would constantly hear them on the radio. At that time, they were certainly one of the biggest bands in all of rock radio rotation. Their debut album, The Better Life, was released in 2000 via Republic Records and was certified a whopping six times platinum and was actually the 11th best selling record of the entire year at the time. They quickly rose to fame performing in front of tens of thousands of people in arenas and stadiums all around the US. They released their second album, Away From The Sun, back in 2002, which debuted at number eight on the Billboard 200 chart and went multi-platinum in the US. This band was on top of the world and they were really burning bright. They were everywhere. They were on television, radio, commercials, you name it. This band was on top of it. But in recent years, their star has somewhat faded and people have wondered what happens to Three Doors Down. They're still an active band, but there has been a lot of tragedy and darkness that has also surrounded this band that's just very unfortunate and very difficult to see, unfortunately. In fact, beyond the year 2011, things got really difficult for Three Doors Down and it's been really difficult to see because of course we wish this wonderful band. They're still touring to this day, but we want to talk about some of their original members and the tragedy that has surrounded Three Doors Down. On April 20th, 2013, the shocking news was reported that Three Doors Down bassist Todd Harrell was actually charged with vehicular homicide. This was while the band was really still on top of the world, and he was charged with vehicular homicide for his actions in Nashville, Tennessee. He was allegedly driving on the interstate at a very high rate of speed while he was supposedly under the influence of prescription medication, and he caused an accident that took a man's life. This took the rock world by storm. It came out during trial that the judge stated that Harold got 360 oxycodone and 60 oxycontin pills from his doctor in less than 30 days. This was a guy who had been with the band during their formative years and coming up, but the band eventually decided to move on without him due to the substance abuse issues that he had faced in that vehicular homicide case. They decided to go ahead and move on, but this wasn't the last time that the band would face a significant tragedy. In fact, it was far from the last time. Less than just a year later, the band's former bassist, Todd Harrell, was arrested again after being charged with that vehicular homicide for another DUI. At that point was when the band really released a statement saying that he was permanently gone and that they would continue with Justin as his replacement. A couple years passed while they were working on new music, but it seemed like the tragedy and the difficulty with that departure had kind of somewhat cast a shadow over the band and they weren't as successful as they had been in years past. The band released a new album in March of 2016, but just a few months later, they would also have a very tragic event take place. The band's longtime lead guitarist, Matt Roberts, who was with the band from their formation in 1996 all the way to 2012, through the peak of their success, was tragically found dead on August 20th, 2016 at the age of 38, from a drug overdose, there was a lot to follow that after Matt Roberts had passed away, including allegations that he was being fueled by prescriptions that really shouldn't have been issued to him. Of course, those are allegations. In November of 2016, his doctor was arrested for allegedly causing his overdose, which was something that was to be handled in court. There was also a wrongful death lawsuit that was actually filed earlier this year. A lot of that is still ongoing, and Three Doors Down during this time has been somewhat silent through all of that tragedy. And now there is more negative news and just a very sad situation involving the band's former bassist who had that vehicular homicide charge and then the DUI just a year later. Now news has come in that 
Former bassist Todd Harrell is once again in trouble for allegedly illegally possessing a firearm. Uh, he was arrested back in June for that. More trouble legally, unfortunately. And now, on Friday, August 3rd, he was arrested again for allegedly introducing narcotics into a correctional facility. This all took place during a screening of mail that's being sent to the jail. He can face up to seven years in prison if he's actually convicted for those charges. The band has a really respectful catalog and they continue to tour and they continue to have people come out to their shows but their new music hasn't caught on like some of their massive hits from the past and it seems like a lot of that is due to the unfair tragedies that this band has had to deal with their core members are still known as very well respected people in the music community and we just hope that three doors down can continue on in some form or fashion in the music industry, although they have dealt with these very difficult circumstances. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to Rockfeed for daily hard rock and heavy metal news. Also, don't forget to sign up for a membership to Rockfeed. If you're in a band, we'll listen to your band on our monthly radio podcast. You'll also get exclusive early access to interviews, special badges and emojis in the comments that normal users just don't get, and a ton of other perks that are to come. Thank you so much for choosing Rockfeed, and we'll see you all very soon.